So far linked is no more. App linked is now full of viruses. False synced, can it be trusted? Just so much uncertainty around these applications, which are supposed to simplify you installing applications onto your device. Now, if somebody asked me today, what's the easiest way to get applications onto your Fire Stick or your Android TV device? I would say there's two applications that I personally recommend. The first one which I'm gonna cover in this video today is absolutely free. You can push any application you want over to your device. You can even make complete backups of the care application. So if you like using your custom add-ons, custom builds, with one click now you can back up your entire configuration and then push that over to any other device on your home network. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So the application in question is called Easy Fire Tools and you will find this on the standard Google Play Store. So install that onto your Android phone or your Android tablet. Or in my example, as you can see, I'm just installing this onto my Android emulator running on my PC. So once you've installed that, you can now open that up. Now, when you start this application for the first time, it will do a quick scan of your current system and it will show you all of the applications you have installed. Now we can see on my device, these are all the apps on my Android emulator. Now, for you to quickly connect to any of the Fire Sticks or NVIDIA Shields or any of the Android devices in your house, all you need to do is click on this uh, button at the top here, which looks like a small remote with a Wi-Fi symbol. Now, when you click on that, this will do a scan of your entire network and show you all of the compatible devices. And as long as your devices have ADB debugging enabled, they'll appear in this list. Now, if for whatever reason you don't find your device, there is another way you can do that. So let me just demonstrate that on my device. So I'm just gonna confirm on my device what the current IP address is. So I just go over to uh, my Fire TV. We can see that my IP address ends in 101. So if I now go back to the application, I can click on the uh, hamburger menu on the top left. Let's go to settings. And where it says your Fire TV IP, you can now manually add in any IP address that you like. So if for whatever reason your Nvidia Shield or your Android device doesn't appear in the list, you can just go in here, type in the IP address, click on OK, and let's go back. I can now click on the click symbol, and this will now make a connection from the application over ADB to your device. And the first time it does that, you have to authorize the ADB prompt and click on OK. Let's now click on continue again. And there we get the message there. So we are now connected from this application over to my Fire Stick Lite. So the first cool thing we can do on this application is to push applications. Now, these applications can be installed on your device. And we can see my ones here. Or you can obviously download any application you want onto your phone and then choose that to push over to your device. So let's say for example, I want to install this um, Peacock TV. I can click on that. It says, do you want to install Peacock TV? I'll click on yes. This will now push the application from my phone directly onto my Fire Stick and then initiate an automatic installation procedure. So you won't see anything on the screen. You won't see any prompts. This will now install the application for you in the background. And we can see it's doing exactly that. It says operation success. So if I now press the home key, go to my applications. Oh, we can see the prompt there. So that just confirms that Peacock TV has now been successfully installed by pushing the application from my phone directly to my Fire Stick. So that covers any application that you have installed on your device already, but you can also download any application you like and push that as well. So for example, if I go over to my website, let's say for example, I want to install this application over here. I can click on that, scroll to the bottom, and then click on the green download button. So this will now download the application over to my device. I click on download. That's now all done. So if we now open up Easy Fire Tools again, and if I go to the downloads folder, there's the application there guys. So I can now click on that. Again, I get the prompt saying, do you want to install this? I can click on yes. And once again, in the background, it will now push the application from my phone 
directly to my Fire Stick and again, initiate that automatic background installation procedure. So no prompts, nothing asking you, do you want to install this? All of this will happen in the background. And once this finishes, we will then have the application installed on our device. So operation success. If I jump over to my Fire Stick, and there's the application there guys. So this really is one of the easiest ways to install applications to your device. And it doesn't matter if you have a Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield or wherever your device is, as long as you have ADB, you can follow this process and just push any applications you want directly onto your device. So do give a thumbs up for that. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag Fire TV, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Now, the next cool thing you can do, and it may not be for everybody, but if you are a regular user of the care application, I can go to the hamburger menu, go to the media center. So here, for example, in the drop down box, I can actually say I want to choose this particular installation and push that directly onto my device. So, and we now see a list of all of the different versions which are being pulled directly from their repository. So, so we can go for an older version or we can go for the very latest version. And if I click on that now, I can now click on install and this will now push the latest version of the application directly to my Fire Stick. Now, for some of you who already use this application and maybe you're looking for a process or a method to back up all of your settings, your custom add-ons, all of your configuration, that feature to actually back all of those settings up is actually built into the application. So if I click on the third option down here, you then click on backup, give that a name. So this is my TDUK uh, Jan 2021 backup. Click on OK. And this will then connect to your device and then back up all of your settings, your add-ons, all of your configuration parameters for the care application will be saved into a single zip file. And once that process finishes, you can click on restore and then push that onto any other device. So let's say you're happy with the care application on your Fire Stick Lite, you like all of the add-ons, all of the layouts, and you now want to push that over to your Nvidia Shield. Well, that's exactly how you do that, guys. So on your Fire Stick Lite, you'd make that connection You'd click on backup, you'd back up the entire configuration onto your cell phone or onto your device, then make another connection to your Nvidia Shield, and this time click on the restore button to push that configuration onto your Nvidia Shield. So at the end of the process, both devices will have the exact same configuration for the care application. We also have a built-in file manager, so let's click on that now. I can copy files, I can move things, I can rename things. Basically, I have full control of my internal storage via easy fire tools and that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching i really do think that easy fire tools is one of the easiest ways to get applications onto your device but i will be covering a second method which is a little bit more advanced but gives you a lot more features including the ability to fully remote control all of your devices so if you guys want to check that out make sure you are subscribed with all notifications and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks